Good evening, everybody. So glad to be here. Um, the gospel moment, we do a quick um, um, look into one of the uh, passages of the gospel according to Spiritism. Spiritism is not a formal religion. We do not have an exoteric view of things. Our objective is our journey towards spirituality. It's our journey towards what we conceive as God. We don't have, we are not a formal religion. Therefore, our vision of the gospel is much more in a way mystical. Uh, it's much more in a way um, looking for the real meaning of the words as opposed to the literal um, uh, word uh, of the gospel. So in chapter 11, we do these gospel moments as an invitation for us to kind of think a little bit different from what we are used to, uh, to um, <clears throat> think about certain passages in the gospel and in Christ's message. So chapter 11 talks about, what do I do in the here? Okay. Sorry, that would help? Yeah. Um, is love your neighbor as yourself, right? The greatest command. So, uh, but when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees gathered together. The one of, then one of them, who's, who was a lawyer, tested him, Jesus, with a question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So the greatest commandment, the greatest law, is the law of love. That's what Jesus is teaching us. And what does it mean loving God above it all? When we, um, when we think rationally and we don't uh, meditate and we don't um, um, connect to the meaning of the words, it's something like, okay, so I have to love this external God, this big God somewhere else outside of me, how does that work, right? So loving God above it all, that's our first connection and our only connection really, right? Loving God above all is nothing more than, and nothing less than loving this connection with this supreme intelligence that is beyond my ego, mortal, finite mind allows me. So is loving this supreme, divine, sacred, outside space-time plane. It is loving what it is real. And the only thing is re real is the fact that we are spirits. We are the spiritual principle of the universe. And when we understand ourselves again as who we really are as spirits, not as a finite body or a mortal personality that we are just dressing up while we are here in this incarnation, right? When we see again ourselves as spirits with a capital S and we go home with a capital H and we connect with a capital G, 
then we feel that that's all there is to it. That love is the law that attracts, unites, connects, and interconnects all of us. When we understand that connection and we go back home while we are alive, when we go back to this space where all that matters is love, then we remember who we really are. And that's the only thing that matters, disconnection above all. Because disconnection is our connection with love, with our connection with joy, our connection with happiness our connection with the beauty and, uh, and the good and the just. That's all there is to it. In the moment we are back aligned with that, then it's very easy to love ourselves and therefore love one another. We can't love another without loving ourselves. We can't love ourselves without loving our brother. So when we go into this space where we remember who we really are, we remember that the only solution for any problem that we have here, any problem has only one solution, and that solution is love. That solution is the only way. It's the journey, it's the port, it's the final destination. It's what we are here to learn. That's all there is to it. And the more we expand our capacity to love, the more we strengthen our connection with that source of love, the more we realize we are all brothers and sisters. We are all one connected in love. So that's the only law. That's the biggest law. From that, everything else is easy. By loving one another, we are already going against the biggest problem of us all while incarnated. That's selfishness. When we are in this other plane of love and acceptance and forgiveness and joy, we are all about not <coughs> me, 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 me. So we remember that we are the self with the big S. So this is just a little bit for us to, to think about it and to read. It's an invitation to go back to the gospel according to spiritism and see how many wonderful insights this book offers us. And uh, with that, um, I'll leave you with the only rule there is to it, the golden rule, right? Do to others what you'd like done unto you. That's how there is to it. And in that way, we will strengthen our connection with the divine. And we will realize that love is our answer. And we already know it.